2021 BMW M2 CS Manual First Test. More than just a sporty car. The three-pedal M2 CS might not be as quick or easy to drive, but it's far more satisfying. If you're washing the dishes while daydreaming about laying on a beach in Cabo sipping a piña colada, are you really washing the dishes? It might be laborious tedium, but if you aren't conscious of your presence, thoughts, and actions, are you really there? The 2021 BMW M2 CS with the six-speed manual asks that exact question, but of the act of driving, not dishwashing. We've already lauded the DCT-equipped M2 CS as one of the best driver's cars to ever wear the famed roundel, it might even be the GOAT. Sure, there are Bimmers with a sweeter soundtrack, and there are certainly M cars with more power. But none of them have been as thrilling, as focused, and as complete, as the Masano Blue M2 CS we tested earlier this year. This Alpine White example is nearly identical to the Smurf CS, $8,500 optional carbon ceramic brakes and all. Except for that third pedal over there on the left and that foreign-looking lever in between the front seats. As a result, the manual CS is a few grand cheaper than its automatic counterpart, ringing in at $93,095. But the difference in gearboxes isn't just mechanical or monetary. It's visceral, some might even say philosophical. There is no, saving the manuals with automatics accounting for almost 99% of all new cars sold in the US last year, picking a manual over a transmission as excellent as BMW's MDCT isn't just a move against the grain. It's a statement, a veritable line in the sand. It tells anyone who will listen that you want to feel like more than just a bag of bones in a bucket seat. With that said, the MDCT M2 CS is objectively the better version of this car. It might not be the purest's choice, but the whip crack shifts and genius level programming of that dual clutch gearbox mean the 444 horsepower and 406 pound feet of torque from BMW's twin turbo 3.0 liter i6 can be deployed much more effectively. The upshot is the dual clutch CS is stupendously fast all the time, much more so than the manual, and you don't even have to work hard to make it deliver. The M2's manual gearbox itself isn't even particularly special. In general, BMWs aren't as satisfying to row as Porsches or even most performance-oriented Hondas, and the M2 CS is no exception. The action of the gear lever in the BMW feels different from gate to gate. Sometimes shifts are slick and accurate, and sometimes they're notchy and nasty. But perhaps worst of all, you have to turn off the traction control system in order to disable the automatic rev matching. Something features editor Scott Evans described as absolutely ridiculous, and he's right. Not to make life even harder for the stick, but the manual M2 CS is also marginally slower than the auto. Our test team logged a best 0 to 60 miles per hour run of 4.1 seconds in the manual. The automatic did the deed in 4 seconds flat. It was also slower around our figure 8 course, logging a time of 24.0 seconds at 0.81 average g. The DCT car was three-tenths of a second faster and pulled 0.84 average g. But screw it, who cares? Acceleration figures and lap times, though, are not the sole measure of a sports car's worth. They never have been and never will be. Dollar figures and lap times be damned. We're not doing nitpicking here today. The BMW M2 CS6 Speed isn't a numbers car, it's a feel-it-in-your-bones car, a feast for the senses. An always-on sort of machine that isn't just fun to drive, but life-affirming, too. As Senior Features Editor Johnny Lieberman put it, the M2 CS is the car built away from the accountants and the product planners, out of the reach of the marketers. It's the rare production car, the one that doesn't make any sense. The one that speeds up your heart, sends your pulse racing, and your brain spinning. It doesn't make you feel like a driving god the way its automatic counterpart does, and it shouldn't. Instead, the M2 CS manual makes you work. It constantly asks critical questions of your driving. Are you sure you're in the right gear for this corner? Maybe go for a downshift, hmm? How are you going to manage the time it takes to go from fourth to second? All of these and many more. This car demands your full attention. Because if you aren't managing what your hands and feet are doing, constantly processing what your eyes are seeing, and reacting to what your butt is feeling, are you really even driving? The manual M2 CS would say, without a moment's hesitation, no.
but those who are willing to pick up the gauntlet and actually pay attention to the car and the road will reap untold rewards.